<laughs> All right, I want to welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming out today. This is a super exciting day for us. For those of you I don't know, my name is Sean Hayden, Vice President of GAMMA. I oversee our several student programs. And wow, what a tournament. I'm stunned. This is, uh, this is a super exciting day for us. And, uh, you know, some special guests I want to thank for coming out. I want to thank DJ Joe Early for coming out. Yay! I want to thank Susan Temple from Senator Cronin's office for coming out. Yay. Red Higgins is here with some of her staff. There she is. Um, there's a representative from the mayor's office here. I don't know your name, I'm sorry. Melissa. Melissa, thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> mayor Maz couldn't make it, but he wanted to be here. And I'm sure he'll make a visit as soon as he can. Uh, Roy from the chamber is here with a bunch of his staff. So thank you all so much. Most of all, thank you to the members of the recovery committee who are here for this. Is Some other super important people in this place wouldn't happen if it wasn't for our support from the Department of Public Health, Bureau of Substance Addiction Services. Lisa Fedora is here. In the back, honey. And who's our other person that's here? Deb Gonzalez is here, too. Deb, there you are. I'll get into introducing our staff in a minute, but here's what I want to tell you. I've been doing this for a little while now, this treatment and recovery stuff. If you can tell from the white in my beard and my hair. <laughs> I've been at it for a while, and uh, I've gotten to see a whole bunch of really cool things in my career. One of the coolest things I got to be a part of is a few years ago, we started another recovery center in Garner called Wilson's Place. And when we started, it was, a, it was an effort of a bunch of volunteers, and, and this network of recovery centers wasn't really fully formed yet. And really, the idea of a peer recovery center and how important it would be for a community wasn't really quite as proven as it is now. And um, what we did to sustain that center is we decided to partner with the Department of Public Health. And, and as part of that partnership, that group of volunteers who started that center had to hand off our center, right? This was our baby, we created it. And as part of that, that partnership and that funding stream, you know, these centers belong to the recovery community. So we had to take this thing that we had forged and built and, and, and really just grew to love and hand it off to the recovery community. And that was a little scary for us, I'm not going to lie. There's a little trepidation there because it's like some of these volunteers are like professional administrators and we're perfectionists and we like to control everything. And we had to hand it off and say, okay, it's yours now. Do what you want. It was like kind of like jumping off a cliff into the water. But what happened was incredible. If any of you are familiar with Melissa's Place, this, this community just grew and grew and grew. And, and, and Jackie and her staff over there created something incredible. And I am so excited that's going to happen here. It's a little different. We're going to start on day one. You all own this place. We're here to help. We're here to help coordinate and run it and help connect you to the things that you say you need. And to me, that is just one of the most powerful things you can have uh, in any community. And, you know, I think this is a, Lemister's a, a, a community that's had a great provider network for a long time. There's, there's social services, all kinds of support. But this gap was, was something we identified that was missing from this community. So uh, I'm just so excited that we're able to do this. There's a team of people here, recovery community, who are going to help you with this process. There's Ray Watson, who's the program director here. <laughs> Sorry, Stan, I didn't see you. <laughs> uh, these are the people you're going to go to and say, this is what we need, and this is how we want to do it. Even the name of this place, there's a sign out there that says Lemister Peer Recovery Center. Sign right there, it says that. <laughs> <laughs> that name might change, because you're going to decide what this place is called. This is your center. So this is really exciting for us, and um, I want to thank a couple of people who've really kicked in huge, like they do on all of our projects. Michelle Dunn, thank you so much. <laughs> Alicia Jess, thank you so much. Yeah. If you've done any of our program openings in the last few years, these two are the ones going bananas for the last <laughs> month, making sure we have everything from TVs to paper towel. I mean, it's unbelievable what these two do. And they also design most of these places for us, and they always do a great job. This place is beautiful. So uh, I just stand up here and talk. I don't do any of this. These folks are the ones who make all this happen. So I want to thank you all again. Oh, well, I'm being instructed to welcome Sorry. D.A. Joe Early to come up and say something. All right. So, Sean, thanks. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about getting into the mess. 
If I hit with Jeff Black, I'm <laughs> <laughs> catching up real quick. No, 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 no you got a ways to go. But my, represent, my fellow representative of government, Natalie, and, and uh, Senator, the Senator's office is representing you. Yeah. Thanks. Um, a couple things. Uh, and, I, and I'll be quick. You can never be a bad speaker by being brief. You ever hear anyone say, geez, I wish they had just talked for another half hour? <laughs> <laughs> In the mayor's office, uh, just saw the mayor a few minutes ago, just, just right upon the ground floor. You know, it reminds me of something my dad said uh, years and years and years ago. And I got in this business because my father was one of my heroes. Good things in government don't happen by accident. They happen because of hard work. And Jesus, oh, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> you got an army in here. You, you really do. You got an army of passionate people in here. Everyone cares. You're stepping out of silos. You're sharing successes, but you're also sharing failures because you, you learn from the failures and you move on. And, and they're in the rear view mirror. And the rear view mirror is so much smaller than the windshield, I've been told. And no one, no one took Clear victory and uh, from the chain, but Roy and everyone, all the good work you're doing as well. But what we know is uh, words mean things, names mean things. We just switched our opioid task force to our support and prevention network because it includes people with trial, you know, people with trial, people with mental health. Thank you, people with mental health issues. I, I exactly <laughs> they did that for 17 years. But when we share all of these things, we do it better. When we don't care who gets the success, you get anything done. But look, we're here for a grand opening, and you know the road's going to be like this the rest of the way. But it's always reflected, life is by how we pick ourselves up. And we're all getting knocked down. There ain't one of us that's perfect. We're all getting knocked down. But we pick ourselves up and we help each other. That's what this is about. I've already spoken way too long. I'm proud to be here. Hope we can give some financial support to it, because it, ironically enough, it's the money we take from drug dealers. And put it back into the community. It, and that, we we'll gratefully accept that support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to that rep, Natalie Higgins. Say it to you. And uh, Michelle knows this from the moment that you announced that this was coming to Lemonster. I'm just so, so grateful. Our whole community is incredibly grateful that you're creating this space. As someone who has uh, this summer lost a loved one, uh, creating these spaces so folks can have community and feel supported in recovery. Uh, I, I just cannot state how necessary this is, and I'm so, so glad that all three cities are going to have these centers going forward because we desperately need them, and we need this brightness and this light and this welcomeness for every single person, no matter where they're at, or if they split up to know that they have they have support and people who are cheering them on. So thank you. serve as the district director for Senator John Cronin, who covers Lemonster. Sadly, he can't be here today, but he sends his deepest regrets. I want to let you know that Senator Cronin started his uh, work as an office holder three years ago and covered the community of Gardner. And that's when I got introduced to Alyssa's place and the exceptional work and the exceptional service that you do. And to think that Lemonster, Massachusetts has this, you are filling a tremendous void. And I feel that you and you and everybody in the recovery team have a great path forward. Well, I guess we're going to get ready to cut the ribbon, but I just want to say this about North Central, why it's so special. Brett Pagan, Senator Cronin, we have an event in Gardner, even out of their district, they're there. This, these three cities come together to support one another in a way I don't see across the state. So we're very fortunate to have such close communities and have the support of our delegation. It really makes all the difference in the world. So um, I guess we're going to cut a ribbon. One more. One more. Two more. This is, I'm like a puppet, Michelle just... <laughs> 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 Tell me what you're next. It's not my fault. <laughs> yes. Becky from our board? No. <laughs> the chamber. The chamber. <laughs> Welcome the chamber up. Oh, yes. Anyone from the chamber? Yes. Well, I think we're going to do a ribbon cutting, but before we do that, we have this uh, small presentation where I just present the certificate. We're really excited to be here. This is quite a facility. This is very impressive. Thank you for your continued investment in West Central Massachusetts. And we're here to help celebrate this opening uh, with the presentation of this certificate. And we're, I think we're going to do a ribbon cutting in a second, yes. right? So, but, uh, I hope so. Keep teasing it. <laughs> Get in this photo. Come on in, Michelle. Ray Huffman. Right. Staff? I hope to see you next.
everything that you guys are going to accomplish here and that we're going to celebrate those successes with you and support you all along the way. So thank you so much for having us. And, um